Um, my name is Michelle Slabicki. I am a certified doula and I'm a licensed massage therapist. Uh, does anybody have any experience with infant massage? You have? Yes. You've done it on your children? Yes. Okay, great. Um, did you take a class or? In chiropractic. Yay! Awesome! I like my secret. I'm sorry? <laughs> my secret. Well, that's awesome. Good for you. So do you perform massage on your daughter? Yes. And how does she respond to it? Like that. You see her, right? <laughs> like she, this. She's pretty relaxed and easy going. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go over the basics and then we're going to talk a little bit about how to perform a basic input massage and then you can practice for it. Well, you know, you know how to do it already, but... If anybody else wants to practice, I can give them some pointers. Okay, so this is called Relax Baby. Um, the, some of the benefits of infant massage, um, infant uh, parent bonding, you're going to get a really good bond just by touching your baby, okay? Touching, speaking in a soft voice, it's very relaxing and calming to the baby. Sometimes your babies are fussy. Just by running your hands down your baby, it says to the baby, okay. Mom's here, I'm relaxed, I'm good. So that helps a lot. Um, helps baby feel loved, promotes better sleep, and that definitely does promote better sleep. Um, boosts your immune, the baby's immune system, improves circulation, helps digestion, um, relief for teething. So that's a good one. <laughs> um, stimulates oxytocin in the body. Um, and it's pleasurable for the baby, so. Your baby's going to come, I mean, if you perform it every night or as part of the baby's routine, the baby's going to come to expect it. <laughs> but that's okay because that's your time with baby and it's good for you. Um, it helps relieve tension from all the baby's stimulation in the environment. Uh, it helps them, like I said, sleep better and helps regulate their sleep and wake cycles. Um, helps reduce their pain levels by up to 80%. If they are teething or if they have colic, which we'll go over a whole colic massage that we can do. Helps alleviate gas. <laughs> um, release hormones for food absorption. And endorphins. Um, like I said, it's good for bonding. Eye, to eye contact, skin to skin contact is excellent. And hormones promote bonding. Again. Um, what kind of oils or lotions you use are up to you. I recommend cold process if you're going to use oil at all. Grapeseed oil. Um, almond oil seems to be okay. As far as the nut oils go, it doesn't usually trigger an allergy. Um, Grapeseed oil is really good. Otherwise, just a basic baby lotion is fine. Um, we use cold process, cold process oils because they're non-toxic. And if the baby wants to, you know, <laughs> suck on your hand, it's fine. And then it's also less sli slippery, so you, you don't have to worry about dropping your baby. Um, and they're usually unscented. Okay, so you want to do it as part of, of a daily routine, either after bath or before nap time. T try and get your baby in a zone where they can relax and be calm. Um, if you only want to do, maybe, maybe your baby's gassy and you only want to do the tummy massages, that's fine. You don't have to do a full body massage every time you massage your baby. It's just, it depends on their attitude. If they're fussy, you know, just do a little bit. And just listen to their cues, you know, you'll figure what they want. Um, when not to massage, if the baby's hungry, obviously, they're going to be fussy. If they're sick, if they have a rash, fracture, um, if they become upset during the massage and start crying, you know, don't, don't continue. If they're sleeping, I mean, that's a given. <laughs> and if they were immunized, immunized, uh, immunized within 48 hours. Okay, so basically we always like to ask the baby if they want a massage. That gives them the chance to know that it's okay, you know, not to be touched. And the more you talk to your baby like that, the more they're going to know. And you're going to say, you know, massage, do you want a massage, honey? If they start crying... No, <laughs> I don't want a massage. But usually they calm right down, and you're just gonna, this is the sign for massage. You're just gonna say, do you want a massage? And then just run your hands lightly over the baby, just to see if they're receptive. Okay, usually the baby's fine. And you say, okay. Um, so you're gonna wanna start with the head. No oils on the head or face. 
you don't need them. Um, you're going to start and take your two thumbs and you're going to gently place them above the brow. And this actually helps congestion because it presses on the sinuses. So you're going to actually take your thumbs and you're going to run it across and come down. And your baby's going to be down. Or if you want to, if your baby's older and they can sit up, you can do that. You know, talk to them. It, it, it helps if you have music playing. Then you're going to go down to the cheeks, and you're going to do what we call cheek circles. And it's just going to massage and relax. And then you can come and do like a shampoo on the scalp and do a nice head massage. Okay. Once you're done with the head, you can come down either on the arms or you can go right to the legs and then come back to the arms. It's up to you. Um, we'll start with the legs. And what you're going to do is get about a quarter size of amount of oil in your palm. Make sure it's really warm. And start with the legs and you can squeeze and kind of ring up the leg, gently but firmly. You're going to do a nice squeeze. And you always want to go towards the heart, okay? And also the lymph nodes are here and it helps with lymph drainage. So you always want to go up towards the heart with any of the limbs. So you can do a ringing motion, you can do strokes that go up. And then you can do the foot, and you're just going to take your thumbs, sorry baby, <laughs> and you're just going to do like this, back and forth. Okay. Then you come and you just sweep down, and you relax, and then you can go on to the next limb. Same thing with the hands and the arms, you can just kind of... Thumb the, the palms, like that, open the hands up, and you can ring, ring, and go up. And you repeat that on the other side. Okay, now, with the abdomen, colic is actually pretty common, or gas, okay? Um, with the abdomen, you're going to want to actually do what's called a waterfall. And you're going to take your hands and you're going to use your palms. And you're going to go like this gently, but firmly, right here. And this helps move everything through. And then what we have what's called the I love you stroke. And we start down on the descending colon with your fingers and you do like the I. You do that three times. And then you go across and there's an upside down L for love. And then there's an upside down U for I like you. And this actually follows the way of the colon. And if there's any gas or blockages in there, it moves it through naturally. And it's really good for colic. And if you just want to do tummy circles, always go clockwise. Okay? Because that's the way the, um, the colon and the digestion works for peristalsis. So you always want to go in a clockwise motion. Okay. For colic, you can also take your baby and hold them like this. It's called the tiger in the tree. And you just kind of hang them over and you can just rub their back. And that pressure on the tummy usually helps relieve the pain. You can just rub them back and forth. And then when your baby wants to roll over and get the other side, you're going to start with the back and you're going to fan your hands up and out towards the shoulders like this. Okay? Have your baby head turned to the side and you're going to go up and up. Kind of like a butterfly. And then you can come up and cup the neck. And just gently squeeze, not too hard, they have very fragile necks. 
And then just make sure you're putting your hands on each side of the spine and not directly on the spine. And then finish. And just make sure you do what's called feather strokes when you're finished. And that kind of tells baby, you know, we're finished. And you can kind of relax now and go to sleep. Yeah, so that circular motion relieves constipation. You can do it on adults too. It's not just for babies. You can do it on kids, adults. You just use a little bit more pressure. Stay under the breastbone and go around. Start on this side and then just do circles. It's pretty good for everybody. Let's see. Like I said, if your baby can sit up, you know, you can make it mommy anytime. And just massage your baby while they're watching TV or listening to music. 10 to 30 minutes, depending on your baby. Um, my babies always like longer, <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, some babies are fussy. The more you do it, the more they're going to want it. And they'll get used to it. So you might find yourself doing it for 30, 40 minutes sometimes. And with practice, your baby will love getting massaged to keep them calm, healthy, and happy. And that's the basics. Do you have any questions? Anybody? Anybody want to practice? Practice? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Baby wants to be massaged. What do we do here? Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Always give them that signal like, okay, it's time to calm down. Um. Yeah, very good. There's no exact science. I mean, if you don't want to do the head, you, you don't have to. Very good. And get into legs next, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. When you were doing that, is it is it that you're just yeah? It's like kind of like a, you know where you do the Indian burn. <laughs> okay, not so hard. <laughs> yeah, and then you kind of do back and forth up the leg. You can go down the leg as well. Okay. Just make sure you finish stroking upwards so you get the circulation moving okay. through. Okay. Okay. So up first. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they're and you can also just do this as part of the routine too, where you're moving the legs up. Mm -hmm. You know, it helps with the gas. Okay. And then it stretches them out. Very good. And then you did arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you do the same? Mm -hmm. Basically the same thing. Yeah, I mean, if they have really tiny arms, you can just, you know, stroke upwards and do a light squeeze up there. And it's easier with a little, obviously. Uh -huh. The waterfall. Okay. Here, start right under the breast. Okay. Good. Very nice. Babies love that. Have a tizzy. Yeah. Okay. You can do circular motions. Mm -hmm. You want to keep it nice and slow, relaxing. He's, he's in line. Nice. Are you next? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And then the I love you thing was on the, the right it's, side? Yep, it starts on there, descending colon. Mm -hmm. um, you just do the I. And then the love, because that's where the illumination comes. Mm -hmm. So you want to get that moved first before. If you start on this end, sometimes it kind of impacts them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, back, you don't want to back anything up. Okay. So you want to start with that side and then go across and then. And where, like, how do you know where sort of to start that one? Like the breastbone you were talking about for the waterfall. Yeah. How do you know where to um, start like this? Right, uh, right above the navel okay. is going to be where you go across. Okay. So you're just going to come down the side, mm -hmm. alongside the navel, and then go right across. Okay. Okay. And you'll know how, you know, how much to press. Mm -hmm. You'll feel it in there. If they have something in there, you'll uh -huh. feel it. <laughs> So, and that really helps with colic and gas, and okay. upset stomach. Okay. And then the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> um, do you do waterfalls on the back? Nope. No. Um, okay. You want to stay a 
along each side of okay. the spine. Okay. okay. So you can go up and out towards the shoulders. Squeeze and massage the neck. And you can do the back sides of the legs. You don't have to because we mm -hmm. kind of covered it on the front by, you know, and then the feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. And that's the basics. Thank you. Thank you. Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? So, an age that you stop, I mean, Ask her. Just look at the side of you. Yes. Young time, I'm trying to make Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. I go over the massage world. Yeah. Massage no, it's, um, <laughs> you know, I, for any age, obviously. Who doesn't love a massage? Mm -hmm. I love them. So, um, um, yeah, well, as they get older, like, you know, five or six, you can do more, I would say more gliding strokes, since you have more area to cover. Mm -hmm. So you do more, but the abdominal doesn't change. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's great for, like I said, for any kids with constipation or guests, it really works. Mm -hmm. My son asks for it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mom, help. <laughs> yeah. He sets up. That's great. So. You wouldn't want anybody to know that. Do you start like as soon as they're born? Um, I mean, I'd wait till you get home, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, why not? And it gets them used to your touch, gets mm -hmm. them used to, you know, relaxing. Why not get into it as early as possible and they're in a good habit? Mm -hmm. So, and then, if I mean, I've seen it where you're out in public and baby's just really inconsolable. If you just start doing a little bit of massage or on the feet, baby calms right down. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty good <laughs> for that aspect. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Well, thank you for letting me talk. Yeah, um, thank you. If you have any questions, you know, I'm here. Or you can email and I'll respond to the group or whatever.